Let's talk about John Kelly. Uh, there is this idea that chief of staff John Kelly is the adult in the room, the reasonable guy in the Trump administration who avoids gaffes and understands what an administration should look like. And he was going to be the guy to get the riffraff out of Trump's administration. And it turns out that he's actually as big a part of the riffraff as anybody else. He is now off the deep end. Recently, he said that the Civil War <laughs> happened not because the Confederacy wanted slavery but because of a lack of ability to compromise. <laughs> what a quaint, lovely little explanation for the Civil War, right? Monday night, most news media was correctly reporting the major story that multiple Donald Trump campaign officials had been indicted for serious crimes. Not Fox News is Laura Ingram, though. Laura Ingram now has a show on Fox News. She was running a fluff interview with John Kelly, but part of that interview was really wacky when John Kelly stated that the Civil War was because of a lack of compromise. And he said that also uh, Robert E. Lee was a really honorable Confederate general. I would what? tell you that Robert E. Lee was an honorable man. <laughs> uh, he was a man that uh, gave up uh, gave up his country mm. to fight for his state, which in 150 years ago was more important than country. It was always loyalty to state first back in those days. Uh, now we're, it's different today. Uh, but the. The, the lack of an ability to compromise uh, led to the Civil War. <laughs> and uh, men and women of good faith on both sides made their stand where their conscience uh, had them make their stand. Okay. Do we know if John Kelly is from Boston? I kind of am hearing a Boston accent in Kelly talking there. I, don't, I mean, it's probably just a matter of looking it up, but I've never cared enough to actually do it. So Robert E. Lee was honorable and lack of compromise was the problem, not white people wanting to own black people. That wasn't actually the reason for the Civil War. Consider what this means when this guy is the voice of reason in the Trump administration who thinks Confederate General Robert E. Lee was honorable and the Civil War was about lack of compromise. No historian agrees with this. It's just nonsense. And the White House is digging deeper and deeper holes to defend this garbage. And there are actually some people saying that Kelly was right here. If only Abraham Lincoln was willing to compromise on the South having slaves, we would have avoided this. And the stunning thing is that the, the sort of sick irony of this is that Lincoln kind of was willing to compromise on slavery. Lincoln's focus in the lead up to the Civil War was to stop the spread of slavery, but not to eliminate it altogether. But it was the Confederacy who couldn't accept that fundamentally. And the Civil War was about them wanting slaves. Now, you can say, as some people do, well, it was about states rights. It was about states rights in the sense that they wanted a state to have the right to own slaves legally. Right. You can say it was about lack of compromise, but it was only about lack of compromise in the sense that the South would not accept anything but full and total legal slavery period. And we've learned that John Kelly is only the adult in the room in the way that an eight year old seems like the adult in the room when you've got a two year old using their pants as a bathroom, right? Only compared to the two year old does the eight year old actually seem like the adult in the room. And I think that's a pretty apt analogy for chief of staff John Kelly. Now, the upside is, if there is one, that it seems like the entire the Civil War wasn't about slavery cult is slowly and sometimes it seems like it's really slow, slowly but surely kind of drying up even though recently it's been a little bit emboldened by the Trump presidency in the big picture, that cult of people saying that the Civil War, as far as the Confederacy was concerned, was some kind of great moral crusade on the up and up for the betterment of our country or something along those lines. Those people are being relegated to the darkest recesses of the Internet and Civil War reenactments in some southern states. But overall, that uh, those ideas are dissipating. And I think we can all be glad about that. Discuss this with us on our Reddit discussion forum, davidpackmancom slash R E D D I T. We will take a break. Dr. Robert Lustig joins me next. Today's episode of The David Pakman Show is made possible in part by Warby Parker eyeglasses. Warby Parker recently did the right thing and ditched advertising on right wing conspiracy website Breitbart pulling their ads off and you can get the free five day home try on from Warby Parker. Check out their glasses. I use them when I'm not wearing contact lenses. I started with the free at home trial. They send you five pairs of glasses. 
You see which ones you like, you send them back, and whichever one you pick, they will put your prescription into. I like this because I can actually show the glasses to other people and not have to just decide on the spot, like in an eyeglass store. The eyeglass industry is controlled by very few corporations that keep the prices very, very high, even over $300 for prescription glasses. With Warby Parker, they start at just 95 bucks. Mine costs that, including lenses. And for every pair sold, they give a pair to someone in need. So to try the five pairs and support The David Pakman Show, go to warbyparkertrial.com forward slash TDPS.